exciting things coming up. I feel has done something. He has no idea. And this one over here. How cute is this? A palette of colour that she gets to wear. And these are my colours, basically. So this was a completely different experience for me. I'm to attempt to sort this out. Every year, she remembers. I am very impressed. I don't normally do this, but how pretty is that? It looks amazing. Good morning and welcome to another week. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I am here quite a lot this week. Uh, so this is the new kitchen. If you haven't seen it, it's not really new now, is it though? I think it, we've had it for about uh, since last summer. My husband built it and put it all together. It's a DIY kitchen, the Helmsley one, and it's their standard, I think it's dove gray color. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that we've managed to build it in as well. So we've added the skirting board on the bottom and the cornicing on the top all the way around on the units to make it look like it's properly built in. Uh, if you're on a budget though, I totally recommend DIY kitchens. They are great and we have had no problems with any of the units or any of the uh, cabinet, cabinets or anything like that. Um, so yeah, totally recommend it. I've just finished my workout, so I'm very hot and sweaty. Can you see in the mirror? I don't know if you can see me. I will come on here later and give you uh, an update of what I've been up to. Uh, we've just got back from Norfolk late last night, so I've got loads of washing and unpacking to do, but I, uh, I have got a few exciting things coming up, so I will come back on here once I am shared and tell you all about them. Good afternoon from a rather sunny Yorkshire. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, we've got blue skies with a little bit of a cloud, but not much actually. So uh, I'm heading off into York in a minute. I'm going to go to go and see the lady that did my Botox. So you'll remember a few weeks ago I went and I had a bit of Botox put up here, here and here in three different areas. And it's it has taken obviously a while for it to work, but it definitely, I feel, has done something. If you go like this, you can't really see any lines. And I did have at least three or four lines across here. I also had lines coming out of here. They have all gone. There's a tiny bit, but they've pretty much gone. I can still move my face though. And I used to have big lines that ran down here. And again, they have gone. Um, so I'm going to go and speak to her and let her have a look, decide what we want to do next, um, if there's anything else that I'd like to put in. I'm thinking I'd quite like something in the cheek area to make it look a little bit more plumper. But I will have a discussion with her and see what's best um, and how to move forward and how to maintain it and all those sorts of things. So I'm heading into York to do that this afternoon um, and then I'm off to watch hockey matches and all sorts, not hockey cricket or on <laughs> cricket matches um so i'm off to do that uh i have got on this is a crew clothing dress it's a really lovely blue color it goes with the sky today it's linen it does crease but it's really lovely to wear especially in this kind of warm weather i'm going to be in the car for quite a while so i thought this would be really nice and then i'm going to walk around york um so i thought this would be a really nice loose fitting dress that covers the tops of my arms has lovely buttons down the front um, and so I thought I could wear it and feel comfortable. Oh, nice breeze. Otherwise this week I'm trying to think what I've got planned. I'm working from home tomorrow. I've got a really cool day on Wednesday. I'm off to meet a stylist so tune in for that one. Um, Thursday, what am I doing? I literally can't remember. I run a play group on Thursday. I'm trying to think what I'm doing. At the end of the week though, I am rounding it all off with a artist's visit. So for one of my husband's 40th birthday presents, I've decided to have a commission done of like a family portrait. He has no idea. I kind of have to tell him before Sunday because this lady is coming on Sunday. Um, and she's going to take some initial photographs and come up with different compositions. But we really need to think about where we want to have this picture not only on the wall but also where what kind of composition i want to have with it so that i've got to sort out this week i've also got to think about outfits and things that are quite neutral that are not going to date um so i'm going to have a think about that too anyway 
I'm quite excited. She's a really lovely artist. I'll put her details below so you can find her. Um, and I just really love her work. I think it looks really uh, real, um, but still like a painting. So it's really nice. Uh, anyway, so I'm off to see that. And I'm trying to think what else. I've had such a busy week. We got back from uh, Norfolk yesterday, um, which was lovely. Really, really nice. And if you haven't watched that vlog, go back and watch it. We got up to some really nice things. We went to North Norfolk and we love going to Blakeney and Holt and Sandringham. I'm trying to think of all the different places. Brancaster. We were staying in Thornham, so we went out lots in Thornham. Um, but we had a really lovely time. That's the bell from the big church to say, I need to leave and I'm late. <laughs> anyway, I'll take with you with me into York. Did I catch it? Oh, there it is. Oh, look. Oh, a heron. Gone. <laughs> we are just out for our evening walk. It's an absolutely stunning evening. It's about nine o'clock and it's still really light. It's beautiful. Good afternoon, I hope you're all well. I have, I don't know why I say that. It's like I'm doing Instagram stories. I don't really do Instagram stories anymore, but I used to go, hello, I hope you're all well. Obviously, I shouldn't be doing that on here. Anyway, I've been working from home today, which has been great. I've managed to get through a load of my to-do list. I've had quite a few hectic weeks, and to be honest, I just feel exhausted. So it's been really nice to just be slow and calm. But I wanted to come on here to talk to you about the treatment that I had yesterday and to fill you in about what happened. This light though isn't great, so let me move. Sorry, so hopefully this light's slightly better. I'm in my lovely ring mirror. I haven't got anything on. I've got some tinted moisturizer on, which I'll show you what it, which one it is as well. That's it. Um, Because I'm working from home, I just tend not to put any makeup on. And also, after the treatment I had yesterday, I really don't want to put stuff on my face. So, that's why I'm looking very normal, and this is how I look in every day. Um, but I wanted to show you what uh, happened yesterday. So, for a recap, for those of you that don't know, about three weeks ago, maybe four now, I went and had some Botox done. Um, so I had the I had two lines here, which you can see have now gone. I had lines coming out here on both sides, and there are no lines there now. And I had at least one, two, three, if not four lines there. Now I can raise my eyebrows up and you can just see a bit of it. So yesterday I went to go and see Dr. Amy, who works at Coppergate Clinic in York. I will put a link to her web well, her website, the website where you can book with her below. So we talked about the treatment that I had last time um, and we decided that this time I wouldn't have any more Botox because I didn't actually need it. I can still raise my eyebrows and I've got a bit of movement and if I was to have any more perhaps up here, 
I might not be able to move my eyebrows as much. And I really want it to look as natural as possible. I want people to notice that there's something different about me, but they're not quite sure what. So we decided that we'd just leave it like that. But we did talk about having Profilo, which I then did decide to do. So Profilo, you can obviously Google it and look up all the information. And there is a lot of information on the Coppergate website if you're interested at all in looking uh, more into it. But essentially what happened was I had five injections on each side of the face and they were quite painful. So someone said, oh, that is, they're not painful. I suppose it depends what your pain threshold is. I did think it was quite painful. I was holding like a stress ball thing as well. Obviously, it's nothing like um, childbirth, if you've been through that, then, you know, I think you'll be fine. But uh, it was quite blotchy yesterday uh, when I got home and you walk out with big red marks across your face as if you've almost been like bitten or something. So I don't think I was really um, aware that, it was, that I was going to look like that. And then I had to go and do the school run, so that was rather interesting. Uh, but I can still feel here sort of like can you see that yeah there you are there's like a little lump there there and this one of here so it was about here and here some here and then some here so i think it takes about three week, three sorry three days to about a week i would say for me to notice actually any difference and i definitely think with the botox it took slightly longer for me to notice any sort of difference at the top here I've got to go back in about four weeks time to go and see her to see what what I think of the results so we can discuss everything. We might then put some more in, we might not. But I wanted to show you uh, my face without any makeup on the day after I've just had it done so you can see the kind of um, effects um, so far. But I don't think you can see much difference, but hopefully, um, in the next few days, you should be able to notice it looking a lot fresher, a lot plumper, um, and you should be able to notice the difference. So anyway, I just thought I would update you on that. I'm rather excited I finally had it done, um, and I'm hoping that I'm going to love this. Um, and a friend of mine had it done a few weeks ago, and she just looks so good. So I'm hoping it's just going to give me a new lease of life. Let's hope so. Anyway, Father's Day presents have arrived for some collaborations I'm working on, so I'm gonna go and show you that now. So I'm working with this lovely brand over on Instagram, and they have sent me some of this whiskey for a Father's Day present. So it came with a glass um, like this, and then in a little gift bag, like so. So if you're still looking for something for Father's Day, then have a look at this brand. Let me just get out the information here. Really, really nice sort of leaflets and packaging on there. Father's Day whiskey set. This Father's Day, treat your dad in your life to a sensory journey of one of a kind whiskey from Great Drams. So it's a Highland single malt. You can find them on the Instagram. They are great dram whiskies. So if you're looking at all for any whiskey or presents for Father's Day, then have a look at this brand. Uh, I've also got some brownies, can you believe it, that are arriving um, for a Father's Day collaboration that I'm working on as well. I almost forgot to show you. This is the cream that I was talking about. So I use this like as an everyday kind of makeup at home like i wouldn't probably wear this out it's quite light uh, it says it's a foundation I, I feel like it's more of a tinted moisturizer i've got it in the shade pebble they have loads of different shades as well but it's a really nice texture and it's really lovely on it feels kind of like soft on your skin so if you're looking for something that's quite light not much coverage then i totally recommend this time frame it's called So this lovely parcel arrived to post yesterday. Um, it is from Love Brownies. So they are a Yorkshire based company, but they have got these packages together for Father's Day. So this says with love on Father's Day and inside you will find 
four little brownies. I just thought, how cute is this? On the back, you've got all the nutritional information. Um, but I just thought it was a nice Father's Day gift if you're looking for something uh, this Father's Day. Good morning, I am in Harrogate again. I'm makeup free again. Um, I'm off to a styling session with a lady called Anna. She's recently moved up from London to Harrogate and she started a new business up here. So I'm going to go meet her and see what her business is about. And I think she's gonna do my colors and try and style me as well. I've got lots of things in the boot, which I've been asked to bring. I've also been asked to have no makeup on um, ready for the color session. So I will take you with me so you can see what we get up to. Right, I have just arrived with Anna and she's gonna talk through now what she's going to be doing with me in this session so I'm going to pass you over to speak to her here we go hi guys in this session we're going to look at Caroline's best colors so I'm going to look at her skin tone I'm going to look at what works well for her whether she goes really cool or whether she goes really warm and even the goal is for her to look super healthy in her best colors which is why I asked her to arrive without makeup because it's the goal is to see her <laughs> looking gorgeous even with no makeup on we're going to look at what happens to her skin with the wrong colors what happens to her skin with the right colors and then i give her her season which basically means that she gets a palette of color that she gets to wear that harmonizes in her wardrobe so it actually reduces so much stress from getting ready from packing to go on holiday all your wardrobe will match each other because you'll be buying colors in your season so caroline is going to find out today what works for her and i'm so excited and we're also doing a style we're doing a style as well yes aren't we? i'm very excited for both the sessions so i will be filming all of the sessions the session today so you can see what we get up to so there'll be little clips coming in and out and hopefully you'll get to hear more from anna as well learn in school this is primary red Technically primary red suits everybody on some people a little, look a little bit better on them, but this is the color that is in everything. So to make color, you have to have red. Um, even if you spilt bleach on a pale pair of trousers, they'd probably have a little pink circle in that and that's because red is in everything. So to make color, you have to have red, yellow and blue. So if I take primary red and I'm gonna move it for you, Caroline, around the color wheel, what season would you put this in? Oh, uh a trick question mm, yeah it is uh summer summer you put it in summer okay cool well you're right it isn't summer it's also in it's in everything in the first oh. dozen seven said summer though. really <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's because we are in summer <laughs> um so primary red is in everything so to make color you have to have it um in everything therefore it's in every season but what changes is remember i said to make color you have to have yellow and blue as well so if i take this drape here and if I put it on the bottom part of the board, it looks quite good. Like yeah. it works quite well. Yeah. If I move it up, it looks a little bit blue. Like yes. it's gone a little bit cold. Yeah. And that's because this is a blue base color. So it's got red, yellow and blue in there, but it's a blue base. So it's quite good with these colors here. And that's because these are blue based colors. And I put it up here, it looks quite good. Yeah. If I move it down, it goes a little bit sallow. If you yeah. think about the men in the gangster films, if they're wearing a camel coat, they look a little bit sinister. If you put them in a navy blue coat, they'd look really handsome. So that's probably yeah. because they need a blue base color. So this is, these are yellow base colors and they look a little bit sallow on blue base people. So you are like the color wheel in that you're either yellow base in your skin cells or you're blue base. So we're not looking at the top layer of skin. This is why I ask you to arrive without makeup on. We're looking at the skin cells. What happens when we put colors on you with either a red, uh, sorry, a yellow base or a blue base? What happens to your skin cells? Do they go sallow? Do you look a little bit sickly? Or do you go quite cold? Or do you go really clear and bright? Or do you look warm and even? So I'll coach you through that in the mirror and you'll start to see what happens when you wear the right or the wrong colors. Okay, so we've just started layering up the color. Oh, I quite like that. <laughs> I feel like I need to wear a lot more colour. I tend to stick to navy. Mm. Oh, I do like a pink. You're too polite. This is very <laughs> interesting. Oh, and this is another. Sh what colour is that? This one is geranium. But you go a little bit more yeah. warm there, whereas yeah. there you go cold. Yes. <laughs> I find this it? absolutely amazing. So we're gonna, I'm gonna run these down now. And wow. You'll see the difference. So yeah. This one is right. Mm -hmm. This one is wrong. Yes. 
This one is right. Yeah. This one is wrong. You go very mm. blue there. This one is right. Oh, look at that. Warm and even. Very cold there. Mm. <laughs> this one is right. Gorgeous. This one is wrong. Wow. You go very blue there. And this one is lovely and warm and even. And then there you go. Very blue. Yes. So you are yellow base. Yellow. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So this so one. Yeah. Looks um, really clear. And your face looks really lovely. It goes a bit darker. Okay. This Ooh. one, although I don't think this is going to be the best colour for you, it still brings you up here, and then there you go a little bit. Interesting, happy. yeah. Um, the same with this one. You, this one was the big one for us, actually. You looked really light up here and then quite heavy. Mm, there. Yeah, it's a and funny... And then this one just scares everybody, so don't worry too much, but you look a little bit healthier, and then this one drags you down. Yes. <laughs> they do the difference now, yeah. So we're just looking at the different whites. So, yeah, it's a massive difference. So this is more my colour for white. Interesting. Gonna keep this one on you now, so you don't mm. have to see. Oh, take white. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we're just trying out all my colours. So I'm spring, and then we're putting them on, and then just checking how much I need. Like, would wear them in everyday life. So some some of them I might wear out full length or full to toe, and some of them I only might wear out like fifty percent or twenty five percent. We're on the kind of neutral colours at the moment. <laughs> we're rating. Yeah. Oh. So this is it another one they're another quite one. yeah it's very like similar different. but yeah you can see the difference yeah you. Mm. Uh, we were just saying that we really like this color and it, it just is something that i would never ever go with but i quite like it it's really nice so this is coral i think that looks really nice matches your lip yeah really like that Poppy. Yeah. Yeah. But we think Poppy looks a little bit. Better, I think, so. yeah. Mm, yes. Really nice. You look gorgeous. This is the lip that we put on you earlier, isn't it? Yes. I do yeah. like that. Wow. So we've put all the. Are they like 100%? I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Colours, 100%. 100 These are my colours, basically. So we've got all the kind of blues to this side here. And then I've got all the other colours on this side, lots of corals and pinks, which I'm really pleased with, and a yellow and a green, which again, I am like would never wear these colours, but I feel like I'm going to have to try them properly, these two. And then these browns are lovely. That's really nice. I love so it. Good. I feel so much better now that I've actually got some colour on me and some makeup. It looks amazing. Thank you. This just explains your colour. So here... It will explain your yellows, um, your pinks, which will say like peachy apricots, corals, salmons, hot pinks, and it describes the actual colours. So then when you're looking or when you're going in your wardrobe, you get that language description. That's what I was just looking. Okay. So the next page is how to use your spectrum. So the, this is your spectrum. I'll show you. Okay. Yes. Colour spectrum. So there are different ways of using it, but I'm just going to fan this out for you like this. There we go. So different ways that you can use it. Um, first of all, you can colour match. So you can look, for an example here, at your bright navy and you can hold something up to it and think, does this perfectly match this colour? Yep. Or what you could do is you could hold up um, an item. I'll get my shoes as an example, actually. I'll get it to your pinks. You could hold up an item and you could lay it across and think, is this in the family or are is it an estranged cousin? <laughs> yeah. So here it's clearly not going to be in this family. It's it's too dark, it's too blue, it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, and so that's how you could do it. You could hold up your dress um, with yes. what you're wearing and lay that against and think, does this work? Does this pink work against the three um, swatches there? Um, or you can lay the full thing out, the full fan, and get your swatch like this. And then against an item of clothing, either in your wardrobe or when you go shopping, you can lay the item out like that and you could think, let me get it here for you. There you go. We could think, um, does this work against this item of clothing? Does it fit with the full spectrum or am I trying to force it in there? Does it jar against it? So those three ways you can use as well as your words there. As well. so Fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow. And they're your neutrals, basics and your colours. So really to create an outfit, you could take one from your neutrals, one from your basic and one from your colour. And that's your great. Your neutrals are going to work really hard for you. That's what you want to really invest in mm -hmm. when, you, when you go shopping because um, belts, shoes, bags, coats, things that will see you through. Um, so you can get those in your neutrals, they don't clash. And then the middle one are your basics, they work hard for you as well. 
and then the outside rim they're your colors which set your whole outfit and like they can clash a little bit and that's where we talked about those three points of blue in your face or you yes. go quite clear um you go quite nice warm and even mm -hmm. so you've learned how to match your face now looking in the mirror so now you know i need to look warm and, for you i need to look warm and even being a spring and you don't want to look too cold and blue because that was that wasn't good for you yeah so Next page is separating a wardrobe, which I'm sure you'll do when you get home. That's the one before, actually. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you'll do that when you yes, get home. <laughs> so I need to do that, desperately. <laughs> divide your wardrobe up so you can go in with your fan book and think, do these clothes work for me in my wardrobe? And then half of your wardrobe have with your colours everything that works. And then the colours that you've taken out that aren't necessarily in your colour wheel, you can either put on vintage, give charity, or you can think they're the gaps that are now missing from my wardrobe and now you know how to replenish them with your place. Great. Thanks. So we've just done the colour session and Anna's going to tell you about that now and then what we're going to do next. So Caroline is a gorgeous blue spring. She looks absolutely amazing in her colours. So we've been talking about that, the best colours that suit her, but she's got the full spectrum that she gets to enjoy. Um, it means that she's a yellow base in her skin cells and it means she needs those gorgeous, clear and bright colours. And now we're going to do style. So in the style class, I look at Caroline's body shape, how to dress for her body shape, how to communicate who she is on the inside. So I look at body shape and personality. Um, a lot of us dress for fashion because that's what we're told. But really what style is, is looking at who you are as a person, how to communicate that with what you wear. So you, people know who you are before you've said a word. And then I look at her body shape. How do you dress for your structure and frame? And then also how does she want to be perceived? So when people see you, what do you, what, what do you want people to think when they see you? So we're going to look at those things, look at her wardrobe, see what she loves, what she hates and why. And then we're going to go through her body proportions as well and pulling her all into proportion. So when people see her, she's in focus looking... <laughs> A gorgeous self. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait for this. <laughs> of personalities and usually people are a combination of two. So we've got um, dramatics and we get, I'm going to use you as well. I'm going to use the example of um, the play, like a pantomime play. So dramatics are the villain in the play. You would never see uh, the villain looking like the fairy godmother. So they're usually quite angular. If you think of Maleficent or Meryl mm. Streep in The Devil Wears Prada, very angular features. Yeah. They're very striking. Um, internally, they're a little bit aloof. They like things done their own way. Um, if they were an age, they'd be an old soul. They've been around the block. They don't want you to tell them what to do. So these are dramatics, high structure. So on this, you can see that they've got loads and loads of structure going on here. So then you're dressing that structured body. Classics are the king or the queen in the play. So these are elegant, they're understated. It's really good quality. Even their trainers will be really great quality. I know that you've got a lot of classic items in your mm. wardrobe. Um, so these are the king and queen. So even their bag, when they put the bag on the floor, they want the bag to stand up. They don't want it to fall on the floor. It's everything's done really well. If they were an age, they'd be like 12 years old. It's like they've always been the grown up, even when they're a child. Um, classics are internally, they like structure and order and things are done properly. Um, and so you can see here that they're, because their body was still working with structure, the clothes are quite structured too. What changes is the combination of, um, of it. So moving on to naturals. So naturals um, are the woodsman, the best friend, made Marion in the play. Um, they're really relaxed in their personality, but also in their body type as well. So now we're going to no structure. So we need lots of movement and drape with, uh, with naturals. Naturals love textures and fibres. They're someone who you kind of want to trust and then they just want to go off and play. So they're quite playful people and they're really relational as well. Good afternoon. Um, so I'm back. I had a really lovely, I was going to say a couple of hours, but it was literally half a day. It was so good. Um, so first of all, it was really lovely to meet Anna. So I've messaged her lots on um, social media, but I've never actually met her. Um, so I met her for the first time and she was just as lovely as I thought she was going to be. She was so nice, very welcoming. Um, so you go to her house to actually have this session with her. So I had two sessions. So I had the colour session first and then I had the styling session afterwards. So you can just do them separately. And hopefully when this goes live, she will have some sort of website. So I'll be able to link this down below so that you can go and find her. She can do styling online, but it's better if you can obviously go in person. So anywhere around the Yorkshire area, um, then I'm sure that she can see you if you can get there anyway. So I turned out to be spring for my colours, um, which I kind of knew 
sort of, not really. I kind of like that sort of palette already and it's very similar to some of the colours um, that I've done before with other different stylists. However, all of them use a different kind of scheme and so um, this was a completely different experience for me. I've never had anything like this. So after I finished videoing the last video, we then went on to look at my body and the shape of my body um, how to wear things appropriate to my shape. So I've got quite a long um, body shape here in that I'm sort of like a rectangular shape. Um, I always thought it was sort of like pear, you know, or round, but I have like a long face um, and a long, not long, that's probably the wrong word, rectangular body bit. And then obviously my best bit is my legs. So we talked about the bits that I don't like, my stomach, the bits that are better for me to show. Um, we talked about lots about neckline. So V's are obviously great for me, which is always what I do anyway. I also talked about sleeve lengths and where I should put my sleeve. I quite like a puffy sleeve, but we talked about it not being too puffy because we do not want to draw attention to this area which is already too big I don't want to make it bigger so we talked about that quite a lot we talked about um how I would wear belts if I was to wear them where what position they would be um I just found I find it absolutely fascinating um and I really notice a difference when I'm wearing things that I feel confident in that work for me I just feel so much better, so much more confident, um, so much happier. So I really believe in it. Um, I spoke to my mum on the way back and she was just like, what are you doing? You know, and she's never really been into any of this. And I wish she was because I think it would really help her and her style and where she wants to go with her clothes because she's always just lost looking and then ends up asking me and then I obviously help her and think about her shape and everything like that. But I just think like my sister would really benefit from this. So many people out there and even me who I love fashion, I love clothes, I love dressing up. I've got lots of different clothes. I often need like reminding of what colour suits me, what shape suits me, what kind of shops I should shop in that are good for me and my style. Um, so I think it's really good to like go back to reinforce these things, especially with me. I'm so dyslexic, I forget everything. Um, so she's gonna send me some notes so that I've got things written down. I did write some notes down when I was there and obviously I recorded lots um, for this and for other pieces of work that I'm doing with Anna. But the main things are I'm clear, bright, light and warm. So those are the skin, the skin, the spring things. So these are my colours here. So I've got it in a little chart. The very kind of similar to what I thought I might be. However, I did have more kind of oranges. I'm sure when I last did it, which was quite a few years ago. These were quite interesting. The yellow. I'm not sure about yellow. But yeah, I think it looked really nice when she held the colour up to me. So I really want to find some nice yellow pieces. Just found a yellow dress, but it's a high neck. So I was like, no. So I'm literally going through things now. I'm really thinking about the V-neck, maybe a cover of the sleeve. Uh, she says, I don't need to. She says, I can go sleeveless. I'm like, I'm not sure about my arms. And I'm I'm thinking about where the the... The waistline sits, does it sit under my bust or not? How it goes out, you know, all these things I'm really thinking about already more. Tomorrow I'm gonna to go through my wardrobe, edit it out. I've got a few horizontal stripes and I always fall in that trap of, oh my gosh, I really need to get in with the Breton trend. And I really don't, like I do not need to get in with that trend because it does not work for me. Stripes just don't work and they just make me look a lot bigger than what I am. And I just need to stop falling into that trap of I've got to follow the trends, I've got to follow what everyone else is doing. And actually they don't work, scrap that trend, doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. So um, stripes, definitely, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I don't feel confident in them, don't feel happy in them. So they're just going. Uh, anyway, um, some of my favourite colours that she kind of picked out was this kind of purple, which does kind of make me think of my mother-in-law, no idea why. So I'm a bit scared of purple, if I'm honest, but I've seen some really lovely purple things in and it's not something I wear at all. So I'm really interested to try this more. I had loads of blues, blues are my go-to. I loved all these, but again, I've got a swimming costume in kind of like this colour and I haven't really worn it because I'm a bit too scared, it's a bit bright. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. Another colour we talked about with these greens, don't like this one, 
but these are quite interesting. They're a bit too bright for me. Again, I've just been looking at a dress that's like this colour and I'm thinking, oh, oh, but actually I need to try these things to really know this is my green, this is my colour. The pinks, obviously, I love. I'm always wearing pink massive pink fans i've got loads of those the reds were quite interesting i don't know if you any of you remember that dress that i wore for chelsea that's the first time i've ever really worn a red dress with it had a pink bit through it a hobbs one i absolutely love the dress it just made me feel amazing when i wore it and it just fitted really nicely it's such lovely quality the feel of it. it was lovely and silky it was just amazing and I remember thinking oh my gosh I love this dress and it's so different for me because I do not wear red and I just thought do you know what this is this is my colour so when this kind of came up and I was like oh my gosh yeah this is what I've been kind of wearing these and um, this is a bit more orangey here and then we go through to so we also looked at corals now coral is a colour I remember having a beautiful dress that was like this it was Karen Millen. It was beautiful. I really hope I've still got it. I want to give it to the girls. And it was coral colour and it had a beautiful um, embroidery, like some sort of butterfly and flowers. It was just stunning. And I remember having that dress and just like, obviously it was about I don't know, 18 or something. I remember just feeling amazing in it. It was just such a beautiful colour. And I've never really found anything like that since. I can't fit in it. It was like a size eight but i've kept it for the girls i've kept some lovely pieces like that that i think oh i hope one day they might be able to wear them so lots of peaches again i just wouldn't wear that but i'm very intrigued to try it so i'm on the outlook outlook i'm looking now i was just looking quickly online before dinner just to see what kind of things i could find in these colors so my roundup for today is if you haven't had your colours done and you really need to go and get them done, I would really research where your person has studied to learn about colours, um, where, the, where they've been taught basically. It seems like all these different places teach in different ways and some maybe better than others. Some people might be suited to you more than others and you might feel I've really got a vibe with that lady, I think would get on really well or that lady's a similar style to me. And so you might find that you are kind of drawn to one person more than the other so really research your person that you're going to go with I'm about to go and look for someone for my sister um where she lives because I think that it'd be a really nice present because I just I feel personally that I've learned so much and I almost feel like I'm gonna have to revisit this again and learn it all again in a few years time because I've just got to keep reminding myself of the things that work for me and how to make myself feel better and feel more confident so I definitely will be going back yeah anyway I just thought it was amazing I need to rush and eat some tea hopefully manage what time is it to get out on a walk and then I'm going to a brownie meeting so my life is jam-packed as usual but I will be putting all these things into place tomorrow um after I'm running a play group in the morning when I'm back I'm gonna be sorting out my wardrobe editing out I just need to edit a lot and sort out and I'm gonna color code everything and I went through again how I should plan my wardrobe in colours. So basically I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. So if you're interested in all, hang around and watch that. For now though, I bet I've got so much to do, I better rush. I've got to get to this brownie meeting too. Good afternoon. I've had a really busy morning but I'm back now and the post has arrived. Just wanted to show you these. So I really struggled to think of what I could get my husband for Father's Day. This is probably a little bit more extravagant than I would normally get. However, I just thought there's no point in buying something for the sake of it. I'm going to buy him something that he actually needs. So in the summer, he either wears flip-flops or boat shoes. And he has got a pair of Timberland boot, boat shoes that he's had for about 15 years. And quite frankly, it's embarrassing going out with him because they are just so scruffy. So I thought I would treat him to a pair of these. Let me see if I can open the hand over there. Um, so if you if you're watching this and you know him, don't tell him that he's got these. Um, so here we go. They looking rather smart, a lot smarter than what he's got. Um, he's not really a very smart person, so I'm not sure he's gonna actually love them. But I do like them and I think I'm going to like going out with him when he's wearing these. I think they're rather smart. They look like really lovely quality as well. 
Um, so I'm hoping he will be pleased with them. We will see. But I've actually ordered something, so I'm really pleased with myself. They also came with this really lovely bag, which I thought that's going to be super useful, isn't it? So um, that's rather nice. I'm going to be nicking that. So I can't believe I'm showing you this. Um, but I'm going to attempt to sort this out. I think the main problem is that we just don't have enough space to put clothes. And when I saw Anna's wardrobe yesterday, I was just like, oh my gosh, I need this. She's got like a whole room with like a wardrobe. Everything's like colour organised. She, you know, I was just like, I need to sort this out because I think I can, I'm sort of imagining my husband building some sort of walk-in wardrobe here you're probably like she's gone mad um but yeah so i'm gonna attempt to sort this out because this is obviously his stuff his stuff i kind of want to kick his stuff out and then i can actually see what i've got but i don't know where to put it so i probably could just find somewhere else around the house put all his stuff in it um this is the kind of pile of stuff so it's a chair, obviously you can't even see it's a chair, it's just thrown with stuff on. So I'm going to attempt now to just go through all of this, put everything in colour and actually work out, does this suit my shape? Is it the right colour? If not, no. And I think I need to do this quite a lot throughout the seasons and just edit and organise myself a lot better just generally in all my life actually my desk is a tip too um so this is what i'm going to do this afternoon i'm just going to get on with this before i've got to go and do the school run okay wish me luck so it really doesn't look like i've achieved much but i have um i've gone through all of this color coordinated it and edited it and i've really cut out loads Ta -da! i think i need to go back through all this and just check but there is a lot that's kind of wrong in all of that. So I'm just going to go through, check everything um, and then sort out what's going to charity, what I can give to my sister and maybe some stuff maybe I can put on vintage. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've achieved quite a bit in this clear out. Are any of you on vintage? What do you think of it? Um, I'm really enjoying using it and I think it's a great place to buy. I buy lots but also sell on there. So I'd love to know your thoughts, whether you think it's a good platform or not, or whether you prefer other platforms for selling or buying. Good afternoon, I just wanted to show you my beautiful peonies. So these are from my neighbour's garden, and every year she remembers that I had these in my wedding bouquet, and she comes over with her scissors and says, would you like some, Carrie, do you want to come and pick some? And I said, have you been watching me? I've been eyeing them up. She's like, no, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she watches me from outside the window. But they're just absolutely stunning. So I had these in my wedding bouquet and they were just beautiful. Like, oh, so gorgeous. I'm trying to, have I got a photo anywhere? Hold on, let me look. Oh, here we go. That's me with my rescue remedy. I look so young. And there are the flowers. This is my gorgeous niece who's like nearly... I think she's like nearly 16 now, 14, 15, 16, 15, oh my gosh, that's scary. This is where we got married. So this is a place called Danesfield House and it is down south. So I actually used to work there when I was about, well, I think from about 14, 15, 16 years old, I used to work there and I did all the weddings and the silver service and all that sort of thing and I absolutely loved it. So let me just show you if I've got any more. I haven't really got many photos. That's my gorgeous mum in her outfit. And my nephew and oh, my brother up there. I'm loving his job of moving everything around. Just trying to find my wedding flowers. There they are. Can you see? We look so, so young. It's one of my favourite photos, that one. Um, I can't really find any nice ones of the wedding bouquet. Can you see there? We had all the bridesmaids in black, which actually now looking back was a bit odd, but at the time it was pretty cool. This was 13 years ago. Can you believe it? There we are. There I am. Oh, and that is Marlow Bridge there. So we went and had some photographs done there before we headed back to go to Danesford House. 
Anyway, I'm going on and on too much, but I just wanted to show you my flowers. I absolutely love them. I need to find a better place for them because they just look so good. So the reason I came on here actually was to talk about skincare. So I've, I keep going on about this. You're probably like, oh, I'm not sure I want to hear any more about it. But because I am now investing in my face with my anti-wrinkle Botox and Profilo on my face, I've decided that I really need to sort of invest in my skincare too. I'm kind of one of those that will try a bit of everything and then not really stick to it and then I'll buy something else. I love products and I love beauty, um, so I have got lots of different things, but I have been researching lots about different products that are better for older skin and I bought a new range, I'll show you. It's Bardu Medical, uh, this is the facial moisturiser. So I've only bought this so far. And I'm actually going to have a consultation next week um, with a specialist on how to use their products properly for my skin. I've got, as I've spoken about here a lot, a lot before, lots of pigmentation, you can't see it now, I've covered it up with foundation, but all across here, sun damage here, here. And I feel like I need to go down more of a medical route in order to sort this out. In the past, I've used lots of organic creams, herbal creams, plant-based creams, and this is more medical approach. So I have been using a sample of cream for about the last two weeks, and it's really lovely on your skin. What I do like about this product is that you use it in the morning and night. And I find that a lot of Brands will have a morning cream, a night cream, an eye cream, doo -doo -doo, and all this. And it all just becomes too much. I forget what I'm doing and what order I'm doing. And then I just end up not doing it. So I'm hoping this will be a slightly easier product to use. I'm having a consultation, as I said, next week. So I'm going to come back on here and tell you more about this brand and this product and what hopefully it will do for my skin. Uh, but so far, I am very impressed with this moisturizer. I'm not impressed with the packaging. It's just a bit bland and I do like a bit of jazz. But apart from that, um, I'm very impressed. So if you've used any of these products, I'd love to hear what you think of them. Please do put some comments below because I'd love to find out whether you think they're good. To be honest, I've never heard anyone say they're not good. I know quite a few people now that use them, uh, this, this brand, and they all seem to love it. So, but I would love to know any feedback or message me at all, but I'm gonna be trying this out for, well, hopefully forever, let's see, because hopefully I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna be trying it out um, as of properly next week, so I will come back to you and fill you in. For now, I've got to do this. So my girls love um, sewing, crafting, knitting, all that sort of thing. And Matilda, I still haven't taught her how to cast off properly. So I said to her that I would get it done for her. Today, I'm not sure what she's making with this, but I love the fact that they are very artistic, my girls, and very creative. And they're quite happy to sit and knit on the school run and even in front of the tv now they can do it not that I, I like that but they sit outside and sit and knit and i think it's really good for them to be doing something other than being on screens so i'm just casting off now because i promised we'd do this and i would bring it to pick up i don't know why i promised to do this right now if I don't do it, I will not have time later. So that is what I'm doing. But I'm off to do the school run and collect everybody. I'm collecting quite a lot of kids tonight. And then we've got tea. My husband's out on a course. And then tomorrow though, I am going to go and have a eyelash appointment. You might have noticed that all my eyelash extensions have completely fallen out now. So I'm gonna have a full set put on, which I really, it's a bit of a luxury, that one, but I kind of do love when I've had it done and I think that it really makes a difference to me. So you'll be able to see tomorrow whether you think it is or not. It's quite a lot of maintenance having them done and part of me can't be bothered to do it over the summer. But I think what I will do, oh, she's dropped a stitch. Oh dear. What I will do, hopefully you won't tell that is maybe do this set and then see how, oh, sugar. Oh, I need to concentrate. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the school run once I've done this. 
Good morning, I've just finished on the Peloton, but I just wanted to show you, it kind of goes through everything that you've kind of done and gives you like a roundup of all the classes that you've done. So you can go back and look and go back to a one that you really liked. Um, I mean, it's got graphs, it's got all sort of things on this Peloton. I don't even understand what these graphs are. Anyway, and it also, it emails you with what you've done as well. So it's all like, you can look everything up. But yeah, I think it, it's quite cool. I quite, I mean, I need to understand it all, but I'm quite impressed with the, how it all works. I wouldn't say I love it, but um, I've got to do these sort of things, haven't I? So yeah, I uh, totally recommend it. If you're thinking about getting one, then I really feel it's totally motivated me to get my ass in gear, but I don't love it. Anyway, now onto the hula hoop. Woo! Done my arms, done weights, done the bike. Now I'm gonna do hula hoop. Good afternoon. Um, I've not been on here all day, really. Um, I went to go and get my eyelashes done. So I have extensions put in. I haven't, they've all fell out um, last week, but I normally go for like infills and I didn't do that. So I've had a full set put in, can you see? I don't know if you can see very well in this light. Um, but yeah, so I'm really pleased with them. I try to have them kind of as natural as possible. Uh, these are probably a bit more full, fuller than I would like. I like them to be really natural, but I much prefer having them to putting on mascara, messing up mascara, smudging mascara over my face. I just really um, like when I wake up and they're done already. So uh, they're quite high maintenance and I always just feel like I'm wasting time when I'm lying there getting them done. I need to get stuff done. But um, I do think that they are a really good thing to do if you are into any of that. So I totally recommend it. I've um, been trying to crack on with work. I was going to do a voiceover and then this gardener next door started like lawn mowing or cutting down a hedge or something. So that didn't work. So I might try and do that if I can. If he stopped, if he stopped, if he stopped. Not sure. I have got a friend coming over for drinks after um, drop pick up, drop off, whatever it's called, from school. So I've just been cracking open the wine. I've just put some wine. It's so cold. This is like one of my favourite wines. Can you see there? Really love it in the summer. It's just oh, so nice. So I haven't had anything to drink all week. Again, I'm doing really well with my dieting. Um, and trying to be healthy. It's more trying to be healthy than dieting because it doesn't happen at the weekends. Um, but I've got that, I've got my two glasses, I've got these Dalesford glasses out. So we're gonna sit on the balcony, the children can play, and we're gonna have a catch up because I haven't seen her. I often see friends in passing, do quick catch ups, and then I never actually get around to actually talking to them. I've got a big thing that I'm organizing next week. I think there's about 40 mums from school coming really I'm, I've kind of like lost count but I'm organizing like a summer local mum get together don't know what it is um basically I just love organizing things and I'm actually not very good at it because I'm so dyslexic something always goes wrong um so I've just double checked with the pub that we've booked a room in because I'm now thinking did I book the right day or the right room or you know, something's going to go wrong. It's just bound to. Um, but I really enjoy organising things. And when I was a teacher, one of my jobs uh, was the social secretary. So I used to organise um, all the social things to do with the staff in the in the school. So if somebody had a baby, I would organise the flowers for them and a present to be delivered and a card. Um, if something had happened, like someone got married or anything like that, I was like the social secretary. I think that was probably one of my favourite jobs. I mean, I've done millions of jobs and that was obviously amongst being a teacher, but I absolutely loved it. And I really enjoyed organising, um, getting presents together and making people happy. I really loved it. I kind of miss that. I do miss not working with other people as well, but I really miss um, that job. It was a nice job. And the whole job was nice, actually, the whole teaching job. I don't really think I realised how lucky I was. It was the most amazing experience. Um, anyway, I'm going off on a massive tangent. Um, I think she'll be here soon. So I'm hoping that the kids will just play and then we can catch up. And then tomorrow we've got a 
busy day of activities, kids' activities. And we've got a colleague of my husband's coming over for dinner, which will be nice to catch up with them. And a bit of a slow one because the next couple of weeks are going to be jam-packed busy. Um, it's the run to the end of term now. And... I've got to squeeze everything in because in the holidays I just find I can't achieve much at all. So I'm trying to get as much work and things out of the way so that I can focus on obviously on the kids and having a good summer but try and dip in and out of work. Anyway, I uh, will go and get ready for this friend. I will speak to you all later on. Just out on our evening walk absolutely stunning what a stunning evening good morning it's saturday and i'm dragging myself out here I don't normally do this, but the kids are all doing activities and I actually have some free time. So I thought, why not go on the bike? Oh, this is just the worst. I want to get this over and done with. So basically you can scroll through these sort of some of the latest um, different workouts you can do. So like 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So you can pick your time that you've got. I think I'm going to go for a 30 minute one. Um, but... There are just so many that you can do. I quite like Leanne. I keep clicking on this lady, but she's in German and I start doing it and then I'm like, oh, it's in German. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. I think I can kind of understand. Uh, but there are just, you can see so many different things. You can just go on and on and on. Ooh, I don't know what that is. A pop ride, a Tabata ride? I don't know what that is cool down rides. I mean, literally you can do anything. I think I'm going to follow it on though with a strength class and then do a bit of my hula hoop. But you can see here you can do meditation, you can do yoga, stretching, cardio, boot camp. I don't really know what boot camp means. What does boot camp mean? Oh, weights basically. Oh gosh. 45 minutes on weights. That sounds like an absolute hell. Anyway, I need to just post something and get it done. You can do programs as well. So you can do like a weekly program, which is quite good, um, like a self-care retreat. And then there are all these like beginner Pilates and then you can ride. So you can do programs so you work your way up. And I think that's really what I should be doing. Um, but they're quite hard. I tried one and I was just like, I can't do any of this. I just hate it so much. I, I like this lady, Robin, she's good. So I've done lots of her weight classes before. I really like her. I like this lady, Trudy. Trudy, yeah, she's really good. Oh, Tundi, sorry, not Trudy. Tundi, she's really good. Really like her, and she does really good arm workouts. So anyway, there's just loads to see on here and go through. I'm just gonna pick something now, get this done, so I can move on. So the post has just arrived, and it is from a company that I've never ordered off before. They use absolutely stunning packaging. Look at this. So I've never ordered anything off them and I don't really know why because I absolutely love the things when they come around on Instagram. I just think, wow. Um, so it's from a company called Cezanne. I'm not sure if this has come from France or whether they have, they must have a, a, a like a place where they send from here. Uh, but the brand is definitely French. So I have ordered this, which I thought was rather cute for summer really really pretty they've had a bag in it and it's sold out and i wish i got the bag so anyway i went for this instead and then i think this is just must be a bag that comes with it because i didn't read this maybe they just send you a bag but it's rather nice i just love their prints it's all very french very very pretty and then i've ordered this dress i absolutely love it so i kind of fell in love with the print i've been eyeing it up for quite a while on the Suzanne website it is expensive and a lot of their products are expensive and I was a bit kind of unsure about spending that much money but I absolutely love it and I really wanted a really beautiful summer dress. I'm slightly worried it's going to be too big. It said to size up 
on their website. So I, I have. So I think this is, let's have a look. What is this? This is a 44, I don't know what that is in English. Basically I wanted a 14 and I think I've gone up to a 16. Yes, a UK 16. Um, but I'm just a bit worried that it's gonna be a bit too big. I love the tie detail. What I do love is the quality. So it's a really lovely fabric, which I just wasn't very sure about. You know, in the past I'm very used to buying quite cheap fashion. And then- Move ring closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, but I am trying now to buy a lot more consciously better products that will last longer. So I'm not, uh, let's have a look and see if I can see. Oh yeah, I loved this bit, the little split there, but you can see it's really beautifully lined. Um, and where is the, I wanted to see what fabric it was. Here we go, hold on. So I was kind of expecting it to be something luxurious, but it's viscose. Anyway. It's, it is really nice. Just really love the feel of it. I think, I'm hoping it will just feel gorgeous on. I also like the back because it's got this kind of rouging detail, um, which I hope will be good to go over my bust. On, I mean, on the front, but it'll be able to do up properly and close. Um, yeah, but why do it's going to be too big? Hopefully it won't. Um, it took quite a while to get here, so I don't really want to not wear it but anyway i just thought how pretty is that really pretty dress let me come back here so you can see it's just very pretty so another thing that's arrived in the post is a beautiful necklace it's from this company here and i also have a code for you so you can get 15 percent off so if you are looking for any sort of necklaces, bracelets or anything like that, then check out this new brand. Um, they've been kind enough to send me a product inside here. Shall I try and get it out? Hold on, I'll get it out. So how pretty is this? You can choose and make your own necklaces up. Um, so we've got here, um, there's a garnet stone there. And that's because I'm a Capricorn. Any other fat fellow Capricorns out there? I met this lady this week at pre playgroup and she literally was like talking about star signs. And I do like love all that, but I'm not really, I just don't understand it all. Anyway, she was sort of telling me all this stuff about me being a Capricorn and what it means. And then we started talking about my daughter and she's a Pisces and this is why she's like this and this. And I was like, oh, and I feel like there's a lot in it. I'm just not very good at reading about it anyway. This is for my, um, I'm, so I'm Capricorn, so I'm Garnet, that's the stone. It's kind of, you can't really see, it's like a ruby colour. Then I've got the C for Caroline, and then I have a little bunny. Can I, let me just move this around so you can actually see. It's really cute. Um, so you can pick different sort of charms to go on. I picked a bunny because it's my favourite um, animal, and I just love rabbits. So you, can you see there the rabbit? But you can pick at all different things. I think they make really nice presents. If you're looking for something special, my daughter, as soon as she saw this, she was like, what? She said, I want this, you know? And I said, oh, it's got a C. I can just see her nicking this, even though it's got a C and not a P. But she loves jewellery and loves anything like this. And so anyway, I think I'm gonna have to get one for her too. Um, but go and check out this brand. Really, really lovely people that uh, own the company. Um, I've been messaging them lots and they were very helpful um, with getting this order to me. So have a look and let me know what you think. I've just made the most delicious brunch. So I've got um, some Gale's sourdough, which has actually got walnut and honey on it in it. It's like a real treat though. So you can see the bread just there. Then I've got some asparagus, um, which I bought from the local kind of farm shop. Tomatoes, which are from Marks and Spencer's. And then some local eggs as well. I've just completely flattened them. They look awful like that. But this is my sort of heaven. I've got my coffee. I'm sitting outside. It's literally gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous day. So I'm going to quickly eat this before they all appear and come and want to eat it for me. Oh, and I've got spinach as well. Lots of spinach. Oh, this is my idea of heaven.
afternoon. Um, I'm just heading down into our village. Uh, we're going to do some baking this afternoon, so we're we'll just going to get some ingredients um, from the shop. I've got on my phase eight dress. This is a obviously a royal blue one. Can't remember what it's called, uh, but it's on the website now. And um, I think we've got to get some eggs. What else? Butter. Um, fruit. We're going to make a pavlova as well. So I'm quite excited for that. I love pavlova and it just makes me think of summer, which it is. We might have some pims and pavlova later. Unfortunately, this side got a little bit crushed, but we've turned it this way, so you can't actually notice. And we're rather pleased with it, aren't we, Fifi? Yeah. Yeah. It looks amazing. We did have a little nibble. It tastes amazing. So we are going to be having this for dessert today with our, our dinner, our tea. I think in Yorkshire you say tea. Dinner. It's dinner really, isn't it? Anyway, I absolutely love this, my favourite dessert. Good afternoon from beautiful Yorkshire. It's absolutely stunning. I put on this dress because I wanted to show it to you. It's got kind of like this bit of a dip here and I don't know whether it's because it's too big. Do you know what? I think maybe it is too big. Do you think it's too big? I'm just gonna go and stand back. I hope it's not because I want to wear it. Um, it kind of fits, I think quite nicely. Let me try and go back. Got like the slits here, and then it's quite long. I quite like it. I'm wondering whether that's why it's maybe it's just too big here because that's why it dips down. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, maybe I do need to get because it would stretch actually across the back a bit better. Yeah, I think I need a bigger, smaller size, don't I? What a shame. I really wanted to wear it absolutely love the print it's really really pretty um so we're getting ready for a oh great they're in the back of the door we've been looking for the keys great couldn't find the car keys um we we're trying to find the car keys to find the uno cards this all sounds really random let me come back so as part of my husband's 40th birthday present i decided that i would try and find an artist that could do some sort of painting for us so anyway, we are going to be working with her this afternoon. She's coming over. We're gonna go down to one of our favorite spots on the river and um, do a little mini photo shoot um, so that she can use those photos to come up with a composition for a piece for our wall. I'll show you now where it's gonna go. So I would like it to go here. So this is our kitchen room. And I want it to go on here because this, this piece can be moved. Um, and go somewhere else. So that is the plan to put it up in here in this space. Um, so we're going to see what she can kind of come up with. But I think that's the best wall. It's kind of the biggest wall, and I think it's the best place to, for it to go. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's too big. I'm really upset. I was going to wear this. I think I need to change it for the size below. 
so pretty and it's a really pretty print but it's just what a shame um so i think i'm going to put on a blue dress we're kind of going with a bit of a blue and white theme uh, which everybody's kind of agreed with which hopefully will work down in the woods i'm hoping there's lots of cow parsley out we've got we're going to a little stream so we're going to set up a picnic rug um and we've brought some games and things like that that i thought we could maybe play i really struggled to know what to buy my husband for his 40th he's quite difficult to buy for anyway and i thought this would be a really nice Thing that we could keep but i'm kind of doing it for me as well um and the piece won't actually be ready probably until around christmas time which is when his birthday is so it's kind of a long process this um and i really want to be happy with the composition and how it all um sits together um and i don't know she has lots of movement the artist is called lucy mcelroy um she's on instagram so you can go and find her and i'll put a link to her below I just love her work. I found her through Instagram. She actually is York based, but she's moving soon. Um, so she and she can do anything you want, like pastels or charcoal or oils. Or So we went to her studio a couple of weeks ago and saw some of the work in place. And I think it was a really good experience for the kids to see how she works. So I'm hoping um, they've already met her, they know her now, um, and that will help with the whole experience i'm hoping so we'll see we're gonna head down there and see what happens i just don't know if it's gonna work we've got a basket full of flowers as well um i've never really done anything like this before and i've never spent this much money before either um but i thought i just need something that we're gonna remember these years by um the kids were uh, are young enough to like want to be in it which is great I think when we get to teenagers, they're not going to want to do this sort of thing at all. So I'm just trying to make the most of all these kind of years now. Um, so I will take you with me down to the woods and show you what we'll get up to. And then as the weeks go on, I'm hoping Lucy will send through different compositions, and things like that. So I can then show you the process of how the whole thing works before we build it up to the proper painting at the end. Anyway, I better go and get these kids to get their shoes on. Maybe put your flip flops on the side here. little baskets on the balcony and they're looking a little bit sorry for themselves. I think we need a lot of water going into them. That one looks slightly better but they're not looking great so I'm just going to give them a big drink of water. So I'm going to sign off from this week's vlog now. I'm absolutely exhausted. We had an amazing shoot with Lucy. I cannot recommend her enough. We literally all managed to get on. She managed to get some really good shoots, shots, sorry, of the children. Um, she's done Lady of the Morn. She's already texted me to say, yes, I think I can work with these. Thank goodness is my answer. Um, my children can be very temperamental and trying to get them to pose or to like cooperate it's quite hard work so like hats off to her she did really really well um i can't wait to show you the compositions i'm going to be showing you things as they come through from her so that you can get an idea of how the whole process works um but it's going to be kind of like quite a few months i think we're going to be working on this whole piece together um so i can't wait to show you the progress anyway I will see you all next week. Thank you very much for watching. Please do put any questions below and I will answer them for you. Have a great next week. 